<laughs> Hi everyone, Alec here today with a uh, super, super fun shoot. No emotional attachment, no nostalgia, no father and son stories, nothing except for a ton of fun with a super cool, quirky and uh, unusual uh, car from BMW. Of course, my beloved BMW. I mean, just look at this. Talk about uh, uh, dinner table conversation, huh? This is the coolest part about this car. Anywhere I take this car, the first question everybody asks, hey buddy, what happened to your doors? And then I demonstrate them and they freak out, take out their phones and start filming this. And uh, you know, no matter what I do, um, it's a topic of uh, conversation. So I'm sitting in an 89 BMW Z1, direct import from the German market uh, to the United States. It's a Euro BMW Z1. Um, they, they only made this car for about two years, three years actually, if you count 89, 90, 91 in um, Germany. And about 8,000 cars were made total during those uh, three years, of which 6,400 was made for the home German market. Now imagine uh, how much they value their own uh, market and how these cars stayed in, and the other 14, 1500, 1600 went to uh, other parts of the world. A couple of cool, fun, unique features about this car that stands out is, believe it or not, the body panels, except for the hood and the uh, in the trunk for safety are all plastic. I couldn't believe it. In the beginning when it showed up, I was looking around and it's like something odd about this car. And I accidentally hit one of the panels with my knee. I didn't know. And it just kind of, whoa. <laughs> and I felt that sound from a plastic. So I started touching going around and, and I also saw a very minor crack down, down here. I'm like, a body panel doesn't crack like that. So I looked at it, obviously I had it fixed, but it was, it was very strange. So uh, it's, it's, it's thermoplastic uh, body panels on this car. Very funny and very strange. Now, apart from these uh, things, I, I don't know what they were thinking about when it comes to safety with, with, with uh, plastic body panels, but I mean, it is what it is. Maybe that's why it was not a uh, huge hit that they didn't continue. After this, in 96, obviously the Z3 came out. This was the first of the Z series in BMW. Apart from the look, the convertible, the doors, the plastic panels, I would probably say every bit of this car is the BMW E30. The engine, two and a half liter inline six, the transmission, the console here, uh, the way it drives, the way it handles, um, some of the body uh, uh, parts, um, even the ashtray, the pedals, pretty much everything oozes BMW E30, which I love a lot, except you get it in a different package, a very quirky, very strange, very funny looking, but good and cool at the same time. This car is a great Sunday morning, cars and coffee, supercar Sunday uh, type of a, conversation start in a um, car which you take you have fun a lot of fun with it everybody gets around you talk about the doors the body panels the unusualness of the car it's just an all-around but I, I tell you though it's a very easy car to drive it's very fun it's nimble it's light you just got to try to uh, in my opinion stay away too much from super heavy LA traffic because there are a lot of crazy weirdos out there driving far too fast and uh, in my opinion, you don't want to get hit by these modern, fast, super big-ass cars. Um, so take it out for Sunday, uh, Saturday morning type of a drive. Enjoy it. Uh, bragging rights. Uh, the convertible top is almost like brand new on this thing. It's been serviced. Uh, we brought it over to the U.S. about a year ago. I've been enjoying it. Uh, mind you, uh, these doors are battery driven, of course, power driven, keep the battery always in charge. It has 50,000 kilometers on it, which interprets a little bit over 30,000 miles, and those are original, documented. 
overall it's in great shape it runs well drives well i had it serviced uh, naturally the plasticiness of it has a, a bit of a quirkiness and um, you know plasticky sound <laughs> if you if you uh, wish to say it that way however uh, overall it's a very very awesome and cool car well sorted well kept and uh, i wish nothing but the next uh, custodian of this car to have it enjoy it take it home and uh lots and lots of bragging rights with it the car was developed sometime in the mid 80s and it, it deb debuted it in germany in 89 and it came out in a variety of colors shapes and uh, forms and uh, color conformations something very funny about it is, is uh, the, the the pattern the, the military patterns they have on the camouflage patterns they have on the seats it's sort of a alcantara mix with leather as well as um, uh, the center console has that kind of a um, alcantara look to it too folks Alec Cartillo here once again with another fun car I'll be closing this one and uh, driving away to uh, no man's land with this. We're gonna do some fun driving shots and uh, I'll see you on the next one.